Okay, so before we get into this tutorial, I just want to give a, a warning to everybody. This is for educational purposes. I am not responsible in any way, shape, or form if you mess something up on your PlayStation Classic, as we are going to be replacing something on the internals. But if you just follow the guide and not mess with anything else, then this will work perfectly. Um, this, is, this is not a difficult mod to do. It's not like it's going to be extremely you know unuser friendly i i don't know how else to word that but it's it's just basically me showing you guys how you're going to put a better emulator on your playstation classic so you can still keep all your games stock if you want to if you do up upgrade your games which i'll have a video coming on that to change out your internal games and so on and so forth then you guys will be able to just use a better emulator this is the same PCSX, it's just a better version. Whether you choose the one from BleemSync or the AutoBleem team is completely up to you. But I just wanted to make everyone warned that like, hey, don't mess with anything else in the file system. Just, just follow the steps. It's an easy step-by-step -step guide. And then you'll have a better PCSX emulator built into your PlayStation Classic. So let's get right into it. Welcome to his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace your stock PCSX emulator that was shipped with your Sony console from the factory. And we're going to upgrade it with either the BleemSync version of PCSX or the AutoBleam version of PCSX, whichever one you prefer. I don't see any major differences between the two, so I can't say there's like one's better than the other. I just used the BleemSync one. Um, I just use BleemSync in general. Most people prefer AutoBleam. It doesn't really make a difference. It's a behind the scene app. But I just want to get that out there that there is two different versions. And basically what they both do is they give us options to the configuration menu while in game. So we can get into the PCSX menu and we can go ahead and change some settings. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you where we're going to get the updated emulator from. So there's going to be four links in the description. Um, if you don't have my PlayStation Classic Tools Ultimate Pack yet, I recommend downloading that. Um, that's going to help us out. As well as a little text file with Telnet info. We're going to need that briefly. And then from Mod My Classic, we're going to want the Bleem Sync 1.2.0 uh, build. And with Auto Bleem, you can get the 0.7.1. You don't have to get the Ultimate Retro Boot version, but you need 0.7.1. I will link to both of these in the description. So if we decide that we want to use the BleemSync version of PCSX, we're going to open up our BleemSync folder. We're going to go into BleemSync. We're going to go into ETC. We'll go into BleemSync yet again. SUP. And then we'll go into Binaries. So with binaries, we have the PCSX file with no extension. It's exactly what we want. So I will copy mine and I will paste it to my desktop. And that's if we want to use the BleemSync version. Now on the AutoBleam one, a little bit different. So we're going to go into AutoBleam. And then we will also go into the AutoBleam folder here. We'll go into bin and then MU. And they have it named PCSX-AB. That will need to be renamed to just PCSX. So if you were to rename it, you would just, just like so. But I am not going to rename mine. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use the BleemSync one. But if you do use this one, make sure you rename it to just PCSX. So once we have the one that we prefer, I'm going to use the BleemSync one that's named correctly. Next thing we want to do is go into our PlayStation Classic Tools Ultimate Pack. And if you're using 32-bit Windows, you can install the 32-bit version of PuTTY. If you're using the 64-bit version of Windows, then just install this version of PuTTY here. And once you have it installed, you will want to launch up PuTTY. Okay, so we're going to launch up PuTTY here. And before we do anything in PuTTY, let's go ahead and plug our PlayStation Classic into our PC using USB. And then power it up. And while we wait for it to boot, we are going to open the telnetinfo.txt file. 
and the host we are going to copy the IP address just like so right click copy we'll just minimize that for a moment and we'll hit paste and then we're going to hit telnet make sure we're on port 23 and then we'll hit open we should be at the bleem sync login so here we want to type root so r o o t no capitals hit enter and we want to put in a command so we're going to do the first command so highlight everything from the forward slash right to the m on mount just like so copy and then we're going to paste that in so right click on the green rectangle and hit enter and there we go so now we will minimize and we will open up an ftp client so such as filezilla so I'm going to use FileZilla. I'm going to take that host name again. I'm going to right click, copy. I'm going to put it in the host box, paste. Username, again, root, all lowercase. No password. This time, port 21. And we'll hit quick connect. You're going to get this little pop up. Click OK. And we want to scroll down to the user folder, Sony folder, bin folder. Now we have the PCSX app here. I want to rename that to PCSX and I'm going to put dot old and hit enter. Now I'm going to upload my new PCSX. I kept, I took mine from BleemSync and I have it on my desktop. So that's the one I'm going to upload. And we'll hit upload. There we go. So now we can close out of FileZilla. And we want to go back into PuTTY. And we just want to use our second command. So the chmod. So we'll right click, copy. And then we're going to paste it again. Right click on the green rectangle. And hit enter. And now we will type exit into PuTTY. We can close this out and let's power down our PlayStation Classic. I just powered mine down now and I'll switch cameras and show you guys uh, what's going on on the PlayStation Classic side of things. Okay, so just launching up my PlayStation Classic and it's all stock other than the emulator. I'll just mute the TV. Sorry about that. So we will launch Final Fantasy VII. Click OK. There's the game launching. Only now we have the option if we press select and triangle. We have an options menu. We can exit without using the reset button. We have a texture filter. I leave that on. And the PCSX menu. So save state, load state within... Um, you can reset the game, resume game, there's more options here, frame skip, all that stuff. So I would recommend if you're going to change anything in here, just Google it first and see what other people have done. But it does give you options, scan lines, things like that. Um, controls, I wouldn't mess with it because they work perfectly, so why would you want to mess with that? Uh, but there is an analog controls option. I don't know if you can do anything from stock with that. Maybe you can add some cheats in there. There's extra stuff. Memory card manager. There's the load cheats. Things of that nature. But, you know, this at least opens up some options. And I believe that this emulator has been tweaked uh, by the Mod My Classic team. So we exited the game right back to the menu. And it doesn't matter what game you start. As soon as it launches, you can press select and triangle at the same time. And there you go. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day.